So this weekend would have been the national show or gathering up in Perm, Minnesota. Uh, I thought I'd kind of just share what my setup would have looked like or somewhat looked like. Um, once the show got canceled, I kind of switched gears on what I was working on, like a lot of other carvers, and some decoys already found new homes. So more or less, this is about what my setup would have looked like. Um, up top, I got my hams, uh, rainbow trout, the classic hams bear scene painted on the side. Uh, my first attempt at some arctic char. Uh, my first uh, brown trout elope, peacock bass. Um, some worker pike, which are kind of the natural pike are always my favorite for when I go spearing. I seem to have the best luck with those. Uh, fire tiger pike, my jig sticks, some trout and pike ones, and a natural handle pike one with using uh, antler sheds as the line ties. Uh, we got some dunklipsosaurs, which are like a little aquatic dinosaur. Uh, another rainbow trout, a little wiggler bass with some reflective scale tape on the side. Uh, red and white pike, some shiners, and a wiggle shiner on the bottom there. Uh, I would add some decoy bags that my wife Sarah makes for me. Uh, every decoy and jig stick comes with a bag. I uh, would add those for sale too at the show. Got my photography note cards, uh, different pictures I've taken all over uh, the U.S. wildlife. Uh, my wildlife coloring pages I've been working on and then my spear and shirts that I've also been making the green one is kind of relates to the bear story that I had from a couple winters ago um, and then we got my tiger muley lunge which is the first one of those I've made too so I've got this all set up in my decoy shop which I might as well show you since I'm in here um, just set this up last fall got it through uh, Rock River Bait Box. They sell the pre-made uh, Old Hickory brand sheds. So then I finished out the inside, insulated it, and then got cedar uh, from Cedar Direct out of Dodgeville, which is where I get all my carving cedar too, because they have really good deals and good quality lumber. So I got some of my favorite fishing scenes on the wall. I made canvases of and my biggest pike and my sturgeon I got this last winter. Got our Spearfest poster up there, Great Lakes Fish poster for reference on the wall when I'm carving. Um, over in the corner, I got some uh, paddles and stuff from the shows over the years. My workbench where I do pretty much all my carving at. Looking the other direction here. Got where I kind of do all cutting them out and sent a lot of my sanding over on the other side. Uh, some of my templates for my bigger fish there ain't in. Um, see the space isn't that big or that fancy it's only 8 by 20 but definitely suits my needs got storage and stuff up top in the loft just use some painters canvas to keep the dust out of collecting all it up there uh, obviously I like this setup a lot better than the messy corner of the garage that I was in for a number of years and getting dust everywhere well looking forward to seeing everybody next year at next year's show should be a good show considering we have two years now to carve stuff for the competition and everything and lastly for my Minnesota friends I'll put up a little graphic here just to remind you the superior uh, football team here in the Midwest take care